This is Operation Let There Be Light, which is a, a video produced by Bridging Humanity. And what Bridging Humanity does is they try to teach the poor how to become self-sufficient by making useful items out of trash. And for this video, we're going to show the, the viewers how they can actually make a battery out of common products. And so one of the things, what I'm going to do is explain what's on the table and then I'll show you the, the readings and, uh, and then I'll show you how to make a battery. Basically what I did is I have over here all the little pieces that you could use. These are items that you usually like throw away. This is actually an uh, eyeglass case that I actually drilled a little hole in here, but I, I did it with a knife because I was trying to do this with, with common everyday products because not everybody has an ohm reader, not everybody has uh, a soldering device, not everybody has, um, you know, alligator clips. And so I was trying to make these with th things that you have readily available. And so basically I made a little hole in here so where you could put your little LED light. And so this is an old uh, toothbrush uh, case you could use. This is an old um, glitter glue stick that's not working that you could use. And you could actually put the, the little LED light. You could take this off and the LED light would fit in there. This is another one that you could actually, this is a, a little glue stick. You can actually um, put the little LED light in there and the batteries in the bottom. And then I wanted to show you that I just have like an incense pack here. And what I did yesterday is I actually took... Um, you know, obviously all the incense out, but I actually f use this to fill in lye with rainwater because I wanted to see, um, I thought it would be interesting to make a battery that, you, that was flexible that you could actually coil up and put inside of an aluminum can. You can see I have a little hole in the aluminum can because I want to make a battery out of this. But basically the concept was to, um, to try to make a battery that's bendable so that you can fit it in something like this easily. And so, uh, let's see, what else do I have here? Okay, I have other little tiny containers that you could use to make flashlights. This would actually make a great flashlight because of this. And um, so what I'm gonna show you now is what I use to make the batteries. And so these are devices to actually make, to house the battery. But this is um, something that I made and it is Actually, it's a battery made out of a straw, and I and I use screws on the ends. One is brass, and I put a copper tubing in it, and then the other one is um, the other one is uh, it's um, zinc. Sorry about that. And then I used a homemade wire made out of aluminum foil, and so I'm going to actually measure this right now so that I can show you what the reading is. And so, but I, again, I was I was curious to use um, things that you normally have around the house, and so the reading on this is 0 0.58, 0 0.60. So that's just a straw that has lye in in the interior, and it has an aluminum wire, homemade aluminum wire, and it has a copper wire, and I use bubble gum to keep the uh, screws and the, um, you know, the wiring in place. And so um, that is one of my little homemade batteries. And so over here, what I'm gonna do is show you some, some of the batteries that I made. And uh, this is one of the first ones that I made, which is basically vinegar and salt. And you have a copper wire coiled up in here, and then you have um, a zinc uh, nail and so I'm going to show you the reading. This one, this is about three weeks old and it's not that strong and you can see that the water is actually leaked out of it. So this one reads, um, whoops, hold it, 0.30, 0 0.57, it keeps, it, it fluctuates, a lot of these fluctuate, 0.60 and so this one over here um, is point, okay, Let me shake this one a little bit. There you go, 0.58. So, and, and I also used an old film canister for this. Now, um, while I'm here, I'm gonna show you something. This is an old cell battery that I actually, it was dead, or at least I thought it was dead. Um, 
because my, my cell phone wasn't working and so, and it wouldn't recharge. And so I, did, I knew better than to throw it away. So I held on to it. And just when I started this project, I said, let me see if it has any, any um, juice in it. And, and I tested it and it didn't have anything. And so I actually took this battery here. I put these cables on it and I was able to um, get this up to 3.5 volts. And so I thought that was interesting that um, I was able to recharge this dead cell battery with this battery right here. And so moving along, okay, so these are some of the other um, um, little mini batteries that I, I tested. And so for this one, I tested, um, you have a penny in here, these are refried beans, and this is a zinc washer. And so the I'm going to move the ohm meter over here. And so the reading is... 0 0.68, 0 0.69, and this is a week and a half old. It's starting to get a little moldy, but I thought it was interesting to test the, the beans because beans have a lot of potassium in them, but they don't hold up very well because they will eventually rot. And actually the one that is the, the what I found, the product that is the best is, is uh, charcoal that has been produced with uh, low oxygen reduction. And so I'll explain how to do that a little bit later. So I'm gonna move this over to the side and then I'm going to show you these little guys. These little guys actually just have tiny pieces of charcoal and I want to show you the readings. And basically I wrapped a copper wire around it and then I made a homemade aluminum wire. And so I'm going to show you the reading of this right now. This guy is like 0.72. Okay, I'm going to try this little guy right here. This guy is... 0.75 okay so and you can actually put these in series and so this little guy over here is 0.73 and these are little tiny pieces of coal so this one is 0.73 they fluctuate. Okay, so moving right along, over here, I actually have, I took, this is a piece of uh, rubber from a pencil. No, it was a pencil, it was a pen. And then I basically took um, a brass tack and I stuck it underneath. And then I have um, this, um, inside is the lye that I produced. And so I'm gonna show you the reading of this. So I'm gonna put this on the bottom forgive my hands are full of charcoal and this point I got a point six nine point six one okay so that's this little battery and then this one over here I wanted to test using the stalk of a papaya papaya also has a lot of potassium and so I also have a little brass tack in the bottom and then I'm gonna test it now and it's got point six seven Okay, so that's that. So, um, and actually, the um, as long as the stalk is kept moist, it will it will it won't dry out. And so over here, what I have is um, papaya seeds. And so, and this is about a week and a half old. And so let's see what we got here. Okay, we've got 0 .60, 0 .61. And the interesting thing is that this hasn't. Um, gotten rotten yet so I was surprised to see that and it has a lot of potassium in it okay and so over here I made a couple of uh, these little cells and I took the you know the the pop top of, um, of a, um, either a coke bottle or beer and I wanted to see I wanted to make a dry cell batter to see how how well it would hold up and so I put in here this is basically um, borax with salt and then it also has in it alum and I'm going to actually show you the alum that I used which is over here this is um, this is actually uh, a deodorant and it's used a lot in Europe and in Africa and it's basically alum it's an alum crystal and so you can actually um, grate it and then you can uh, get the powder and so that's what I used and so to get the alum and so these are cells and they have um, I, I tested different types of wires copper and I tested um, zinc and then steel and so I want to show you and this is just like um, from um, um, 
what is it called, like a, a, stain, a, a stainless steel Brillo pad that I, I basically made like a wire out of it. And so um, let me show you how these turned out. So this one is 0.37. The, these, I, these two I made last night. And then this one is, looks like I'm holding it the wrong way. This one is 0.25. I thought these were going to be better. They're, they're not really as good as I expected. And so this one is... Doing this the wrong way? Nope. Yes, I am. So this one is... 0 0.58, 0 0.59, which is pretty good. I made those today. And then this guy is... 0 0.41, 0 0.44. All right, and I also, um, I believe magnesium works well, but I didn't have any handy, so I wasn't able to test it with magnesium. And so I'm gonna move these out of the way, and then I wanted to show you these over here. Okay, I tested a pickle, um, and it's wrapped in felt that was dipped in vinegar and salt. And so this is a week and a half old, and it's like 0.57. This is actually a papaya stalk that has, the felt has been dipped in lye. And so I'm going to show you the reading of that. It's 0.58. So let me move this over here. And then on this one, I have um, a papaya stalk and the felt has been dipped in vinegar and salt. And so the reading for this guy is 0.53. And then over here, what I did is I basically did a low oxygen uh, reduction charcoal of bamboo. And so I expect it to get better results because bamboo is extremely hard and you're, sup to, you're supposed to use to get the, the best voltage you're supposed to use very dense wood and so I used oak and oak works very well and I used bamboo because bamboo and um, coconut shells are very prolific in Latin America and in, in Africa and I thought that they, this would be very useful and so this is actually 0.74 which is not bad. You could set these up in series and that would be just fine. And so let's see, let me go over here. What I want to show you now is, um, let's see. Oh, this is another battery that I made and it's actually, um, I just found, I had an empty plastic tube and I put a copper penny underneath it. Um, and then I have the, the lie inside. So let's see what the reading is on this guy. 0.62 so there's that guy and then what I wanted to show you is um, oh yes I, I wanted to show you some of the wire this is just regular cat5 cable wire that I would unwind and then I would use a razor blade to strip it because people and you know that um, have uh, low resources don't have the tools to make these things. So I wanted to, all the things that you see here are, are, you know, I tried to do them with very basic rudimentary tools. And so I used a razor blade to peel off the, the outer skin so that I could get all of the copper for this. And then I also wanted to show you that you can use this as a, as a little alligator clip. They worked fine. And this I made as a little, you know, a little impromptu alligator clip. And then what I have over here is the, um, the can that I used to make the charcoal to produce the, um, the, um, the battery. And so what you do is you basically take a, a tin can, and I just use an old oatmeal can, and I put bamboo, oak, and um, coconut shell, and I basically put the lid on, and then I turned it upside down, and I, you know, put it in, I have like a, a grill outside, and basically I just did a lot of like uh, tender here, and, and you can use, Peanut shells, they're, they're great. You can use orange shells, they're, they're, they're good for um, starting a fire. And um, you can use the bamboo, I'm sorry, the, um, uh, the papaya stalks, the dried ones, you can use those. And basically you start a fire, you do like a little teepee, you stack all the wood around the can and then you let it burn, you make like a little bonfire. And then the next day when you go out, it, it will have turned into charcoal. And this is to show you the charcoal that I made. And so these are, um, you know, this is the, the coconut shell. And the other interesting thing I wanted to point out is that when, you, when you're doing this, you can actually, 
um, you, you're making charcoal and you can use this for art so this is how you, you charcoal is made by um, fi making low reduction oxygen um, wood pieces like this one so anyway um, so this is uh, what I was using for all of this the, these experiments and so what I wanted to show you is over here I actually made a little battery and it's interesting because it will it was working before but the, um, it's basically a series of the car the charcoal little batteries and they're they're connected in series and I want to show you the voltage because it's pretty high and it gets to like 2.5 which is good but unfortunately it drops it, it's not it doesn't stay up there so I need to get it to I need to put a couple more in here in series so that I can actually get the, my little flashlight to work. But basically what I'd like to do for now is show you the, uh, the readings. And so if you just hold on to this and you'll see every now and then it'll go, it'll like spike to like 2.5. And so what's happened is the little battery, I'm sorry, the little LED that I have in here will turn on and off whenever it gets up to the voltage that it needs to be. It will actually, um, turn back it'll turn on so uh, but I just wanted to show you that this was um, you know I actually had this working before but because uh, it's not um, stable in other words it'll jump up to 2.5 but then it'll go back down that I was not, I'm not able to actually show you how this works so I apologize for that but um, this is not perfect but what I wanted to show you all is that you actually can make a battery out of charcoal and you can and what you do is you need the charcoal and you need the lye and the what the way you make the lye is after you make your low reduction oxygen charcoal and you cannot use kerosene when you're doing this you need to take the ashes and what you do is see now it's a 219 221 so, and then it jumps back down to 15. So, as I was saying, it's, it, the little light will flicker on, but because it keeps jumping up and down, it doesn't, it's not gonna stay on constantly. But in any event, um, going back to the lye, what you do is you take the leftover ashes from uh, burning your charcoal, and, or making your charcoal, I should say, and then what you do is you add rain, you need to sift it, you need to sift the um, the ashes so that they're ultra fine and then what you do is you add rainwater and so that's how you get your lye and so all, all of these batteries have been wrapped in felt that was soaked in lye and then the and then I have a copper wire that was wrapped around the little pieces of charcoal and so that's it for now stay tuned for more videos from bridging humanity